Let's see if there's something else I want to do in these tables. Oh, the products table has a good example. Pick on products, please. Notice on the products table, I have the units in stock and the reorder level and whether it's discontinued or not. So I want to see if a product needs to be reordered. Let's make another new column. So I want to go ahead and go back into the Power Query with the products table. Right click on products three and pick on edit query. Good. Um, so now we should be in the Power Query window for the products table. Let me show you a new way to add a column, everybody. This is going to be called a conditional column. It's a pretty interesting way to make an if. So up here, I'll pick on add a column. Then look what it says. Conditional column. It's going to be a new way to make an if. And now you should have this kind of window. So for the column name, let's call it reorder. And then follow me. Let's say if, and then click on that pull down. If the unit is in stock, come over here and we'll say is greater than or equal to. Now I'll pick on this ABC123 because I can compare it either to a value or a column. So let's say select a column. And what I want to compare that to is going to be the the reorder level. All right, so it should say if units in stock is greater than or equal to the reorder level, then it does not have to be reordered. So come over here and then type in now. We do want to add a clause here, almost like a nested if. So pick on add a clause. Now, if it's, uh, if it's discontinued, if discontinued equals, come over here and type in the word true. If it's discontinued, then I don't need to reorder it. So come over here and type in no. Otherwise, come down here and type in yes. So let's see if the logic is sound. If the units in stock is greater than the reorder level, then I have enough, so I don't need to reorder it. So that's correct that it says no there. If the discontinued equals true, that means it is discontinued. I don't have to reorder that. So then no there. Otherwise, if it gets down here, then I need to reorder that. So I'll say yes. Looks like, look, look, looks like the, that's the logic I want. Anyway, that's an interesting way to make an if or a nested if what was called a conditional column. Go ahead and click on OK. Now I have a new column that's called reorder. The second one says yes. Let's see if it's right. I have 17 in stock. 25 is the reorder level. It's not discontinued, so it needs to be reordered. Okay, that was kind of an interesting one. That was called a conditional column. Just things that we could do with the Power Query is all I'm showing you, right? Let's go back and save that. So I'll pick on Home and then Close and Load. And then I, I kind of start putting these tables away. Just so it's not so messy over there.